Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Thought I was gonna show you something green. It's uh, kind of cold today, winter, here in Orangeville. But this one is taken in Glen Happy Conservation, just five minute drive from where I live. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. It says, My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. Here's my poem. Power in weakness. Are you feeling weak these days? Have no fear. God is with you today. His grace is sufficient for all your challenges. His power works best in your weaknesses. Whenever you feel discouraged or weary, hopelessness is usually a trick of the enemy. Even when we're undeserving, he grants us grace. He loves us all. He loves all his creation, especially the human race. Here's my essay. The Bible defines grace in Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 8 as a gift from God and we can't take credit for it. It is something given to undeserving people like us. The doctrine of the grace of God is the very center and core of the whole being according to J. Gresham Mackin. And here are some of the Paraphrase de definition of grace according to some Christians. According to Justin Holcomb's, the love of God, grace is the love of God shown to the unlovely, the peace of God given to the restless, and the unmerited favor of God. According to Paul Zals, it is an unconditional love toward a person who does not deserve it. According to Jerry Bridges, it is God reaching downward to people who are in rebellion against him. And according to B.B. Warfield, he says that grace is free, sovereign favor to the ill-deserving. God gave us grace, and it is all sufficient for us to live a life that he wanted for all of us. Prayer. Lord, thank you so much for the grace that you have bestowed on us. Reflection. Why do you think some people won't receive grace? I think there are some things that block people from receiving grace, and one of them is pride. When we think that we don't deserve something, it is very hard for us to um, accept something. In, in a case where, like, like for, let's take an example like gift giving. People who are proud and do not want relationships do not want to take anything from people they don't, they don't, um, they don't have a relationship with or they don't want to have a relationship with or they think it's a business transaction so if they have to receive something then they have to give something so it's hard for them to receive a receive a gift and uh, grace is a gift which is undeserved like um, um my love language is um, giving gifts and there are different kinds of love languages. So we show our love in certain ways. And I used to like to give gifts to people. And so it, it's sometimes it's painful that when you want to give a gift, like me, I like to think of uh, what to give to somebody. And I like to know this person that I'm giving it to. And I like to put some thought into finding the best gift or making the best gift for this person. But sometimes, uh, but usually when I give a gift to someone, they are so happy with the gift I give them because I put so much effort in finding out what will make them, um, what their interests are and what will make them happy. But um, 
there are some people who cannot even accept it, you know, like, um, especially when I came to Canada, it was something new for me because in the Philippines, uh, I think in our culture, from my country of origin, everybody likes to give gifts and um, we, we are generous to give our, our gifts. But when I moved to, the, to, to Canada, it's, it's something very different because not all people wants to get a gift because uh, they feel obligated to give back something that you have given them. And it was a shocker for me when, when I got married to my husband now and um, we were thinking of a gift for his sister and uh, all he said was like, I said like, okay, let's buy this because he said that he wanted some jewelry. So I said like, okay, let's buy this jewelry for it, for her because um, she'd probably love that. And he looks at the price and he says like, um, no, I'm not gonna give that to her because uh, the only gift I'm gonna give will be this much worth and that's not, that's too much money for what she's gonna give me. And I'm thinking, oh my, I was shocked was really shocked and then later on I I took that so personally and I felt like why are you putting like an amount of money for somebody you wanna give to because that's now how I we did it in our culture where I used to come from but eventually I got to understand that it's a cultural thing that um, everything is like a business transaction like they only want to um, receive something that they could give away as well but um, a very different the, the gift of grace that God has given us we don't deserve it and yet he gives it to us and so who are we except if we are proud we cannot accept it because we think that we don't deserve it but who are we to say no to something that is given to us uh, unmeritedly like we didn't have to do anything he just gives it to us and that's called unconditional love as well so I think a lot of times people cannot accept uh, God's grace because they they think that God's love is conditional and it's not because God loves us unconditionally no matter what whether we're good we're bad he loves us all the all the way Thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I hope you remember to live in God's grace all the time. Thanks for watching.